Hello boys and girls, welcome to another comprehension lesson. I'm your teacher, Ms. Shamshuddin, and for this lesson, we're going to be exploring the use of graphic representations. If we are to look at this term in two parts to build a better understanding, you will agree that graphic has something to do with more than just writing. So when we talk about graphic representation, we are looking at other ways of presenting information. Graphic representations are attractive ways to place and represent information. And you know, if we say attractive, it means that something that makes you want to look at it. Some of these are graphs, menus, poems, cards, advertisements, television guides, and others. These make the information easy and engaging to read and understand. Now, why use graphic representation? Graphic representations give information. They are also used to compare and contrast things. They can be used to show the stages of a process or something and to show pattern over a period of time. Now let's look at some of the forms of graphic representations and their purposes. The television guide or the TV guide. This provides the name of programs and the time they will be shown on the channel. So here you have an example of the television guide from the Learning Channel, the Guyana Learning Channel for Wednesday, April 14, 2021. At 8, you have Junior Literacy. At 8.45, you have Mathematics. At 7.30, you have Word World. And at 9, you have Sid, the Science Kid. So there you see you have the program that will be shown and the time at which it will be shown. For advertisement. This gets the reader interested with the hope that they will make purchases. It includes pictures of products, reduced price or other sales deals. They are usually made very colorful as well. And when they do that, quickly you read it, you say, hmm, that looks like a good deal. So when things are advertised, it is done with the intention to capture your interest. Some of the advertisements that are run on television, they come with a song. And if it comes with a song that you like, it's more likely to grab your attention. We have cards. Now with cards, you are provided the opportunity to express love or words of comfort to someone who is celebrating or just experienced the challenging time. There are cards for almost any occasions. There are cards for graduations, there are cards for weddings, there are cards for anniversaries, Mother's Day, Father's Day, there are cards practically for anything. Then we have notice boards. Now, why is the notice board a graphic representation? This is used for posting messages in public spaces. The notice board acts as a reminder after meetings and discussions as well. Notice boards can be used anywhere for easy reading. So, notice boards are normally put up where people pass quite frequently. So let's say you just had a meeting or discussion and there are things that people need to remember. If it's at the entrance where people come in, most likely when they come, they will see it in front of them. So they interface with the notice board. Then we have the menu card. Do you know where we see the menu cards or where we might have a chance to use a menu card? The menu card is a card with a list of dishes available in a restaurant. So if we go out to a restaurant or a fast food place, we would have the opportunity to see one of these. Most menu cards include prices for meals as well. It gives customers the chance to make good meal choice. Menu cards sometimes have pictures of what the prepared food or beverage looks like. So sometimes you don't know exactly what the meal is. The name might be quite strange to you. But because of the picture they put next to you, you say, hmm, that looks quite delicious. I think I'll try that. Or sometimes the price, especially if you're going out on a budget, you look at the prices and say, I have money to buy that. 
Anyhow, that's the menu card. Then we have poems. This is a piece of writing in which expression of feelings and ideas are given intensity by paying attention to diction. And sometimes it involves rhyme, most times it involves rhythm and imagery. Poems are usually composed with short lines and that makes it easy to read and fun to read as well. There are various types of poems as well. So poems in itself are very, very expressive and very exciting to write and read. Now let's look at this example of graphic representation and then answer a few questions. So you will see it says happy 50th birthday. You have always been there for me. You taught me so much and made me feel love. Today, April 21st, 2021, I celebrate you and all that makes you so special. Enjoy your birthday, Mommy Jenny. You deserve it. Love, James. Now, let's look at some of the questions that we could answer based on this graphic representation. Whose birthday is it? It's Jenny's birthday because it says, enjoy your birthday, Mommy Jenny. How old is Mommy Jenny? She is 50 years old. Now, what's the relationship between James and the person who the greetings is being sent to? James is the person's son. So the relationship is son and mother. So who could tell me what kind of graphical representation is this? Yes, you're correct. It's a birthday card. Now here I have another. And this time it says Demerara Harbor Bridge schedule for bridge closure April 21st. And it has the day, the date, and you have night and day. Closure lasts for one hour. Now the closure is for the month of April because if you look you will see it has April 2021. At what time of night will the bridge be opened on Thursday? So you go back to the schedule and you look for Thursday and then it's asking you at what time of night. So you see time frame is given in night and day. If you look at Thursday, you will see 21 hours, the bridge will be closed. On which two days will the bridge be closed at the same time? On Monday and Friday in the night, the bridge will be closed at the same time, 19 hours. And which two days are not shown on the schedule? Now you have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. That's only five days, and you know that the week has seven days. So the schedule has not accounted for Saturday and Sunday. So those two days are missing from the schedule. Do you see how easy the schedule is to read? Now, here I have an activity for you to do. So you study the graphic representation and then try to answer the questions. So let's read, happy 75th birthday. You have always been there for me, my favorite grandparent. You taught me so many morals and values. Today, May 21st, 2021, I celebrate you and all that makes you special. Enjoy your birthday, Grandpa Jack. You deserve it. Love, Timmy. Now let's try to answer the questions. What is one thing that the birthday person has done for Timmy? Now, if you read the card, the message in the card, you would have read that Timmy said he has taught him many morals and values. So one thing that the birthday person did for Timmy is he taught him many morals and values. Now, which month is the birthday being celebrated?
birthday is being celebrated in the month of May because it says today May 21st 2021 I celebrate you and all that makes you special how do you think the celebrant will feel after reading such a greeting now think about yourself if you had received a card with such words in it how would you feel Now, I personally think that the celebrant will feel very happy after reading this greeting. Now, were you able to read and understand the various layouts of those forms of graphical representations we looked at today? I am sure you were. So let's recap what we've learned. Graphic representations are attractive ways to place information. Some of these are graphs, menus, poems, cards, advertisements, television guides, and authors. These make the information easy to read. Now the purpose of graphical representations are to give information, to compare and contrast things, to show the stages of a process or something, and to show pattern over a period of time. There are a few more forms of graphical representation that we will go through. So be sure to follow the guide for our next lesson. It's always a pleasure to be with you on the Learning Channel. So until next time, I'm Ms. Shamshadeen saying goodbye.